thanks for getting my miraculous short to 500,000 views. If we can get 50 million likes on this video, I'll prank the demon that lives in my basement. Last time I covered the first nine episodes of season five, and now there's another nine episodes. Season five is good. I mean, Miraculous Ladybug was always good. <laughs> but now the show is really good. Check out my last video if you haven't. If there's anyone from France who watches my videos, I need your help. I'm one of the many who've been inspired to go to France after watching the show. But I also know Paris, according to everything I've heard, sucks. So is it worth going to France? What other city should I visit if Paris is somewhere I should avoid? I want to add a trip to France in one of my Miraculous videos. Maybe even go to Marinette's Bakery. We're fully exploring the issues with Marinette and Adrian actually trying a relationship, and Marinette is freaked out after almost getting akumatized after dating Cat Noir, so she's accepting her future as a crazy old cat lady doomed to be single forever. Thus is the fate of all heroes. I don't care, Marinette. I love you just the way you are. I don't love you. This has to be like the third time she said this. We all know you're really bad at convincing yourself about this. Plague has the genius idea to relieve them of their Kwamis so that they can pursue their love. Like, great idea. Let's get rid of the protectors of Paris so that some high schoolers can have their teen romance. 286 days since Adrian came to school. That's nine months and 12 days. What? It hasn't even been a full year, and we went through going to America and China, saving the world at least twice, already been in a relationship and broken up, had to deal with Zoe showing up and being the new kid after Adrian was already supposed to be the new kid, and their teacher's pregnant. That baby should be ready by now. Don't take advantage of his distress. I'm not a monster. No, you're just an idiot. Adrian gets one of those alliance rings. Not only can Adrian and Marinette not get together, but now their Kwamis are breaking up with them. These idiots thinking that this is a good idea. Oh my God, how dumb can this Funko Pop wannabes be? And they just hand it over. They don't even put up a fight. You guys suck. Do you not care about your Kwamis? Are they really so down bad they can't stand doing the right thing anymore? And they're already happy, moving on so fast. I swear, what is wrong with these people? I know what's wrong. These guys needed a break. The, these, the Kwamis didn't have a bad idea. The bad idea came from forfeiting the miraculous forever. They just need a break. And we know that's all this is going to be. They're gonna get back in action being heroes. I hope you don't hate Zoe that much because she's gonna be the holder of Plague's Miraculous and the obvious choice of Alia. I don't hate Zoe in the Cat Noir costume, but I think the neon green is a little strong for lipstick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alia is a Whovian. I want to do that to my door. That's a great idea. So he was over there, wasn't he? <gasps> Did you guys What are you doing here? <laughs> you and your dirty sneakers are- Actually, those are high tops, Chloe. Sneakers are different. I thought you were a fashionista. You should know this. <laughs> then again, you were never bright. For some reason, we get to see Gabriel dance like no one's watching, and I've never been more uncomfortable. The writers just said, we need to fill a few seconds and waste time, so they made everyone grossed out. Alia and Zoe get caught because of data tracking. When you're committing a crime, I, or, um, doing vigilante justice, you always leave your phone at home so they don't have evidence. Here's my problem. Now that everything is lined up for Marinette to date Adrian, she's still a nervous wreck. She knows Adrian likes her, and they're a couple now, but she still hesitates and can't commit to being in a relationship with him. I think she needs some sort of therapy. There's something more going on here. Gabriel does a scheme to get the miraculous, and now he wins again until he ruins everything like he always does. At this point, the fear of him getting the miraculous isn't that scary because he screws it up so much. Now that the Kwamis decided to take the miraculous away from Adrian and Marinette, they gotta quickly try and fix things. Case in point, Plague makes sure the ring is destroyed so he can't make a wish. We actually see what that fan club they made does. Comrade Mayo and Comrade Ketchup save the day. And now Marinette is Ladybug. All is good, she fixes everything. Monarch screws everything up once again. Did you tell him how you feel? <laughs> uh, everything's so natural between us, we don't even need to say anything. He sounds like you've been working on the farm too much because that was bullshit. <laughs> It's no big deal. You're not listening, Marinette. Even when things get complicated and- What did you just call me?
He said you done fucked up, Marinette. Luca gives away that he knows their identities. More and more people are finding out her identity. Like, goodness, this is gonna be a massive fallout. Everyone's gonna know her identity and Monarch is gonna figure it out and then they're gonna do some time shenanigans to reverse it. Maybe she should just tell everyone. I feel confident Monarch will screw up or they'll find some shenanigans to fix everything. Jagged Jr.'s gonna sing for me or I'll make his little friend's lives hell. Wait, can he... Can can he say that? Is that allowed on Disney? Luca tells everyone that he's gotta leave Paris so that Monarch can't use him to tell him the identity of Ladybug and Cat Noir, and so he gets to spend personal time with his father. But also, no, not Luca! I like him the best, he's the best character! Except for Kagami. What? Never did I think we'd actually get an answer to why Marinette is so weird around Adrian. Turns out she has a repressed memory of when she liked Kim, and he was a total dumb jerkwad, and it totally backfired on her, and so she literally needs therapy. Oh my gosh, okay, I feel bad for judging her. That would suck really bad. I will never, ever fall in love again. I'll never tell another boy that I love him before I know everything about him. Now this is what is done really well with this series. You take what was just supposed to be a fun, silly haha, -ha, but then the show goes on long enough to where the fun, silly haha -ha gets really, really annoying. So you completely recontextualize it to where it takes on a whole new dynamic. It stops being annoying and instead becomes an interesting flaw of her character. A lot of shows don't do this. Funny enough, a lot of shows of fun don't recognize when something gets annoying. Miraculous Ladybug has always done a great job taking these variables and mixing them up in new ways to keep the show fresh. And it regularly impresses me. It is a massive reason why people still love watching this show. So they have a heart to heart. Sometimes the best thing for these characters is just to talk. And Marinette doesn't suddenly just change because healing isn't easy. Adrian even goes so far as to tell Chloe that they aren't friends anymore. Mm. I don't know why you bothered being her friend for as long as you did, but uh, progress is progress. Yes, I know they have history together. I don't care. She sucks. Things get dark pretty fast when Natalie is all like, hey, you're gonna die, dude. Maybe we should think about how Adrian is gonna live without his dad once you pass. And it's like, dang, not only did you have to rub in that he sucks at his job, but also that he's gonna die. And also, he's a bad father. Well, then again, we knew that part. Fun little Easter egg, the code to Tsurugi's spaceship says Kiseki no Shinjidai in Leet speak, which has a few ways you could translate it. Kiseki means miracle and Shinjidai meaning new age, which it seems like they're hinting Tsurugi may have plans of her own and maybe a more important role than we thought or it's just the showrunner being a weeb and adding a neat Easter egg. So here's the thing, there's an AI that Monarch convinced is failing at its job and it's sad because of that. And turns out you can akumatize an AI, which means, I don't, wouldn't, wouldn't this mean you can just copy and paste an AI to be sad and have an infinite army of akumatized AI robots? How many people can he akumatize? I feel like this has a lot of potential. And this AI was open source from the internet, which means he just needs the GitHub and he's good. This is actually massive. Lila is supposed to be helping Gabriel, but everything she does fails. So it's not actually all that interesting. I know you're in love with Adrian, but... Adrian's not the one I'm in love with. Who is it then? <laughs> we got another one in the Alphabet Mafia, ladies. I still hear people call Zoe a Mary Sue. And can I just say, she's not. A Mary Sue has no character flaws. Zoe always played second fiddle, fiddle to Chloe, didn't have the confidence to pursue her goals, and is now dealing with unrequited love. I mean, she's not an amazing character. I'm not trying to convince you to like her. I'm just trying to tell you that she's not a Mary Sue. I just don't like people using literary terms wrong. It's not even like that much of a literary term, but you're using it wrong. Throughout all of season five, we see Marinette struggle with actualizing her relationship with Adrian, everything in the palm of her hand, and yet she can't grasp it. And it took Zoe showing her that confessing your feelings doesn't ruin everything. You can still have a good relationship with someone, even if that love is unrequited. And so after so long, she finally gets the confidence to tell Adrian, Adrian, I love you. Yeah, I call BS. It's a really sweet sentiment. And sure, 
they're not wrong. Telling someone you love them and it not actually panning out doesn't necessarily mean that everything falls apart, but more often than not, everything gets really, really weird to the point to where uh, people just stop seeing each other because it's too weird. Zoe and Marinette doesn't count. Zoe knew Marinette doesn't swing her way, and so she kind of already knew it's not gonna work, so it didn't really hurt her as bad as it probably could have. And Adrian already said that he loved Marinette, so this was just crossing our arms and waiting for it to happen. Glad it did, but it's like, wow, whew, finally. Plot twist, Adrian can't kiss Marinette because of his father's influence. Sucks to suck, he's still not free of his father's grasp. Or maybe it's mind control from the ring? We just have to keep dragging this out. You know what they say, if you wanna be happy, your favorite characters need to suffer constantly. And there's almost no better characters that are in a constant and perpetual state of suffering than Marinette and Adrian. You want that real kiss? You want that actual kiss that won't be rewound and not count, but actually matter? Well, you gotta wait. We will draw out every avenue we have to make the relationship strained. Nothing can be simple. Simple is boring. Simple ain't simpin'. We can't have that. Also, is it just me or does the quality of these graphics look better? You know, just a little bit. You think the show finally is finally popular enough to get a bigger budget? I mean, they are getting a movie and that looks epic. I can't, wait, I can't wait to review that on my channel. Gosh, I wonder what Felix has been up to. Oh, there he is. Cool outfit. They really just been keeping him on standby. Now that we got Adrian and Marinette almost working out and Gabriel dying, we need to add a new bad guy to make the show interesting again. They've been planting seeds and letting this grow. Love it. I'm not entirely sure I get Felix's motivation though. He wants people to be free of crappy adults. There's gotta be more than that. Anyway, how many of you are working on cosplays of this guy? I'll make a wish to create a better world, a free world, where no one will be under anyone's control anymore, where no one will be excluded like I was. Felix is kind of dumb. He got rid of everyone. And he's like, haha, I won. The world is better. And it's like, wow, great. You made the world free, but it sucks. Like if you wanted freedom, then dying would be free too. That world you made would arguably be worse than just dying, and in one episode, Felix has a whole change of heart. I was hoping this would develop into something cool. This episode was lame. What? What is this? Part 2 of Season 5 was really lame. As interesting in Marinette and Adrian's back and forth usually is, I'm tired of it now. There's not enough to really keep it interesting. Now it's just kind of annoying. I think they're running out of ideas. It's like your taller older brother saying, oh, oh, you, you want it? Well, gotta reach for it, come on, come on. And they really hyped up Felix only for nothing to happen. I mean, like, what was that? He should have been the next villain. Lila is apparently going to pan out more, but it would have been cooler if it was Felix or Felix and Lila. I'd been fine with that. But no, we get just one, and it's the less interesting one. I really hope the ending to season five really turns things around, because usually they really pack a punch with the endings. The endings kick butt. But this, so far, was a major bummer. Major bummer. But how do you feel about how season five is developing? Tell me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, stay beautiful, and keep playing.